Hi people and happy 2014. So I created this uh, Roto Bessier add-on back in 2010 and it was meant to to add a way of you know animating curves for masking purposes but people started to use it for all kinds of things including motion graphics and so I started adding more functionality and it uh, ended up into Animal. Animal is an add-on that lets you animate all sorts of things related to the data inside uh, an object. Uh, it can be a mesh object or a curve or a lattice. And sadly, most people don't know about this, this script or don't know how to use it. So I'm, I intend to help with that, with this video. Let's see. Uh, first I need to say that this script uses parts of the API that maybe nobody else uses. So it can crash or maybe it won't work perfectly in inside the did mode. You need to go out to object mode to, to see it in action. Stuff like that can happen. But other than that, I, I have used it a lot for work and, and it's great. Okay, so starting with a, a mesh object, I'm going to save. Okay, the first thing you, you can animate is points. This is basically the vertices of, of the uh, mesh. So I'm in frame one and I'm going to insert a keyframe. And you can see now that the dope sheet um, has uh, a keyframe there. Now if I expand this, you will see that it keyframed all the, uh, the vertices locations. So lots of keyframes, but you don't need to see that. Just use the summaries. And if I move to another frame, and change something uh, like this and insert uh, again it won't work on edit mode this time but if I go out to object mode it works great and I can even duplicate or delete you know general um, management of of the keyframes here very simple to use and you can even use uh, sculpt mode for uh, for animating the points now the next thing you can animate is a uh, shape key this is a bit um, not complicated but it's hard to understand what it means because you know shape keys already can be animated right but this is different I'm going to find uh, maybe create another monkey and instead of directly animating the points I'm going to animate the shape so you can uh, see that it says no active shape key so a nice um, I tried to make it at least a bit easier to understand what to do. So add a shape key. And it says now cannot key on basis shape. So of course you need to add another shape. So uh, you, you, you do not um, key on directly on basis. And now it says maybe set key 1 to 1.0. Okay, let's do it. You can do it straight from, from the... Uh, UI and now it uh, it's not bothering with any uh, other messages so that's great so let's insert a let's insert the first keyframe on the shape and let's move to somewhere else 
on the timeline and do stuff maybe like this so this is horrible but um, something simple insert <laughs> okay insert and you get the idea so now this monkey is deforming but uh, you may have noticed that I'm using only one shape key so it's pretty weird but very useful you are animating the points inside a single shape key and this means it's almost uh, like a layer animation thing because I can even tune down or up or even exaggerate the the animation I have done pretty crazy and I can even animate this value if I suddenly don't want my my um, shape key animation uh, also I, I could create a second or, or third shape key and animate over that and then layer the layer all the things you know uh, even use a blend uh, vertex group to mix different animations it's it's very powerful uh, <clears throat> so that's that's about it this will work with um, i think all of the other objects uh, like curves yeah curves have the shape uh, capabilities lattices too okay so that's points and shapes now let's go for bevel <clears throat> this refers to to the bevel weight setting the, i have a previous previously added um, bevel modifier to this cube but no um, no bevel weight is set now you may think that you could animate directly over this value but if you try it says button does, doesn't appear to have any property information attached this is because this isn't the the edge value this is a um, kind of tool that works for all selection and it gives you the medium median median well the average uh, value of all so this this cannot be directly animated so I'm going to go back to frame uh, one and uh, insert a keyframe on bevel and I'm going to go to frame 100 and increase the bevel value insert again and next I'm going to increase on these other edges and insert again and I'm going to increase the the modifier value and now if everything goes right you can see the bevel flag being animated fantastic very similar uh, functionality with the creasing this, this is another cube, but instead of bevel, it has a subsurf modifier. And I'm going to switch to crease and insert. And go, uh, I'm going to go to a later frame and maybe pick some nice um, yeah, edges to crease insert and the crease is now animated like magic very cool as i said you can do the same with lattices um, of course lattices don't have most of uh, or, or many of the um, types of data so you can only use the shape key animation or points animation and I'm going to use simple points animation 
just for a quick test. Insert, oh boy, what the, um, I probably left a bug in there, but don't worry about it, I, I will solve it as soon as I finish this video, so let's do it with uh, shape key style animation. So, couple of shape keys, set the value to 1, and insert. Then do crazy stuff with the lattice. Yeah. And insert. And the lattice is now animated. Awesome. Crazy stuff. For curves, curves are, are really great because they have uh, special values like radius and tilting. This can all be animated using Animal. Um, I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to animate all of them at the same time. So, uh, first insert a uh, first keyframe. And on the second keyframe, I'm going to change the shape of it, but also change the bevel, I mean the radius. I think with W you can... Hmm. Ah, yeah, smooth curve radius, that's very nice. And also the tilt, if, if you need it, in this case it won't show because it's just a circular pattern that control T will change the tilt and it can it can it will work you know now you see that everything is animated very cool I'm going to just make this smaller and insert Huh, nice. I've used this for a lot of motion graphics stuff, uh, you know, growing or... Yeah, I think you get the idea of the possibilities. Um, clear animation is uh, will delete everything on an object and delete will delete only the current keyframe and only the currently selected options. So if I didn't want to keyframe, uh, I mean, if I want to delete the uh, the tilt, I leave that, go to this exact keyframe and press delete, and now there there is no um, tilt information in this keyframe. Okay, so okay, moving forward to this year. This was uh, kind of a NURBS uh, curve. Bezier will also work with uh, everything, points, shape, whatever. And it will take the handles into account. So, just quickly, uh, I'm going to do uh, whatever. Insert. Yep, like this. Maybe set them to vector. And this set them to free and insert, and it works. I think this actually works in edit mode. So curves do work in edit mode. I don't know why, but cool. Uh, now for the weird stuff, because this video is already quite long, so I'm going to try to hurry up. The weird stuff. Um, UBs. You can animate UBs. This is crazy. So, I'm going to do it for something completely useless, but I can tell you this can be uh, a great tool to use. So, let's go to frame 1, insert, and move to a um, later frame. And do some silly deformation here. 
yeah and insert and this will not I think not work in edit mode but if you go out to object mode you can see here that the UV space is being animated whoa psychedelic so this uh, mesh also has a wave mod oh my god this is just well it also has a, a wave modifier and I put it there to test the vertex group animation cap capabilities so I'm going to create a vertex group here and name it uh, wave control and use it on the on this thing oh my god this is so crazy oh I added a texture no that that shouldn't be there okay so for the wave control I just hope this doesn't crash I'm going to assign a weight of 1 to everything and I'm going to actually enter weight paint mode and go to this frame and I'm going to paint a weight of 0 in some places just doing whatever this is nothing you know nice bad um, it oh boy I forgot okay I need to turn on B groups insert and now back to frame one and again I'm sorry for this assign a value of one okay this should work now for the start uh, at the beginning all of the vertices move because they have a value of one and then the painting starts to change and now these birds are masked out I think you can see this in with a uh, live coloring if you do it in vertex uh, paint mode amazing Whew, okay we are almost over only I think one thing left and that's uh, vertex color support um, yeah maybe maybe on this one it's well I think you get the idea already but I'm going to do it anyway just um, set the thing to vertex paint and yeah insert keyframes and paint 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 insert maybe uh, paint 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 insert and I yeah this one is, is one of the tricky ones because oh now now it's working perfect I think I, I had I had to go to object mode and then get back into vertex paint or whatever you know I warned you about this some stuff is weird but look at that this can be extremely useful for maskings uh, ma um, shader masks like when you uh, mix a couple of shaders based on the vertex colors or you name it I I can't even begin to think of all the possibilities you can do with this kind of stuff well thank you I I'm glad that I made this video I should have made it a long time ago if you make something cool with this uh, please uh, if you want to mail me and tell me about it this is my mail okay so I'll be happy to know that people are using this uh, crazy script for for useful stuff goodbye